We've reached the final out. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show on the new skid, BYU Sports Network. BYU Post Game Show is brought to you by doTERRA. doTERRA, proud sponsor of the BYU Baseball team. Let's rejoin the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Utah 8 and BYU 7 is tonight's final score. Let's take a look at our discount tire on the rubber report. A look at both teams' pitching numbers tonight. For BYU, the Cougs used 10 pitchers to get through eight and two-thirds innings. And over those eight and two-thirds, BYU gave up eight hits, eight runs. Seven of them earned 10 bases on balls, 11 strikeouts, two wild pitches, one hit batsman, 188 pitches thrown by BYU hurlers tonight. Utah pitchers through nine complete, seven hits, seven runs, six earned, three bases on balls, nine strikeouts, three hit batsmen, and 148 pitches thrown by Utah pitchers. So BYU throwers went uh, through 40, 40 more pitches tonight than Utah pitchers. That's on the rubber brought to you by Discount Tire. Let's get you taken care of. Utah takes care of BYU tonight by a final score of eight to seven. Our post-game coverage will continue from Smith's Ballpark in downtown Salt Lake City. Reed McLaughlin takes the loss. He goes to 1-2. and two. Micah Ashman gets the win. He goes 2-2-0. Two, two, and, oh. and on the season, Utah goes to 21-14-1. BYU falls to 20-14. and 14. We'll take a break. We'll hear from interim head coach Trent, Trent Pratt and more after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is the BYU Baseball Post Game Show. Now back to the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Final score tonight is a Utah 8 and BYU 7. A walk-off single for Kai Roberts in the bottom of the ninth to win it for the Utes. Final stats brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen helping Utah families for over 30 years. For the Utes, eight runs on eight hits. They committed three errors and left 12 on the base pass. And not notwithstanding, they get the win over BYU, which had seven runs on seven hits, one fielding error, and nine were left on base. Taking you through BYU's batting order tonight to Ozzie Pratt was 0 for 4 with a run scored and a strikeout. Brock Watkins 1 for 5 with a run scored and 3 RBI on a 3-run home run that gave BYU a big lead in the second. He struck out twice. Mitch McIntyre 1 for 3 with an RBI. It was a sack fly. Jacob Wilkin 0 for 3 with a couple of bases on balls. His reached base streak now goes to 14 straight games for Jacob. Ryan Sapedi. 2-for-5 with two runs scored. Austin Deming, 2-for-4 with a run and two RBI. Jacob Rogers, 1-for-4 with a run scored and a strikeout. Mason Strong, 0-for-2 with a K. Colin Reuter, 0-for-1 with a K. Dawson Hall was 0-for-1 with a run scored and an RBI. He had a base on balls. And Max Harper, as a pinch hitter, went 0-for-1. Ten pitchers were used by BYU on this night as they combined for eight and two-thirds innings pitched. Those are our stats brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. BYU tonight uh, falls to Utah by a score of 8-7 to seven and falls on the season to 20-14. and 14. Utah goes to 21-14-1. BYU interim head coach Trent Pratt putting on the headset here in the broadcast booth. And uh, Coach Pratt, tough one tonight. One number I'm struck by is this uh, of the uh, eight runs that Utah scored, four of them were by guys that were leadoff batters put on base with either bases on balls or a hit by pitch. Yeah, that was kind of the, the story of the game tonight. It was really uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic of our pitching staff tonight to walk 10 guys. And, man, we kind of played with fire all night with that. And, man, it just finally came back to bite us. It's, I mean, that's something that we haven't done all year. So hopefully that's just a hiccup and a one-night thing. We can get back on it, you know, coming Thursday because – yeah, that, that was that was that was strange tonight with that. Yeah, the base pass were busy as a result. Uh, Utah was officially 0 for 4 with the bases loaded. You were minimizing the damage. You would get out of some jams like that where they'd score maybe only run out of bases loaded, no out, for example, multiple times. It kind of felt like you were doing just enough to stay where you wanted to be tonight. Yeah, I mean, close enough. And then, you know, then you, if you keep doing like that, it's going to come back to get you. And then we didn't get a couple big hits when we had chances. Obviously, they had a lot of chances, and – and didn't get a big hit till the end. And we had some early that we just couldn't seem to break the game open. But, yeah, it's, it's frustrating when you walk 10 guys. They're not going to win many games when, what, we walk 10 and hit two or something like that. So, 
Man, it's, a, it's a tough way to win when you give that many free bases. Yeah, the 11 strikeouts helped, and they came late to kind of counterbalance things, but uh, 12 free bases on the 10 walks and, 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 and the two hit. Actually, just one officially hit tonight. So uh, 10 bases on balls, one hit. A couple of wild pitches in there, and it was a, a true staff day as you used 10 arms out there tonight. Yeah, that wasn't the plan, but early on when we get a lead and – you know, you, you, we want some guys to go a couple more innings, and no one can seem to go out there and just throw up a zero for us. And so we had to use some guys that we were hoping we, do, we wouldn't have to use tonight. But, you know, the, with the game close, we want to try to win this game. And so, man, it just didn't come out our way tonight. I want to ask you about one guy you used who had been a starter for you. Jansen Kiesel was a weekend starter. Started Saturday three days ago. Didn't mm-hmm. pitch a lot, I think 45 pitches. Yeah. Uh, he came out of the pen for you tonight. Um, does that signal maybe a bit of a different role for Jansen for a little bit, or, or is that? Yeah, to- we're talking about that. We're just trying to get Jansen right. Um, and he came out tonight, man, he looked great. Yeah. So, there's, yeah, we're still kind of playing with that, what we're going to do this weekend. But we know he didn't throw a lot of pitches right. on Saturday. And a chance to just kind of get him out there and – our plan wasn't really using like just an emergency, but when it came down to like, man, if he doesn't throw an inning, we might have enough guys to finish the game. And he and it was a perfect inning for him, I think. Yeah, it was a great inning. Yeah. I think three strikeouts yeah. came out, and yeah, did a great job. So yeah, so yeah, hopefully that that's that's a good sign for him to come. Okay, a non-conference midweek loss tonight, but you're back into it on on uh, Thursday through Saturday. And San Diego's one of those teams between you and first place right now, and you get them at home. Massive weekend coming up for the guys. Yeah, huge weekend. That's we kind of talked after the game is like, hey, this one hurts and it stinks. You know, just how we played. We didn't that what that wasn't that wasn't the BYU baseball team that's played all year. And so, hey, it's over. Let's flush it and get ready for the weekend. You know. You know, feel sorry for yourself on the bus ride home, but man, wake up tomorrow. We got to be ready to get ready for Thursday. Pretty steady rainfall for the last hour and a half so uh, of the game or so. Do you th- did it affect anything out there? Was it light enough that it really didn't bother? Yeah, I anybody? think it's light enough that I, d- I didn't see like anyone slip or anything like that. I don't think that affected much at all. It was your longest game of the year. Did it feel long out there? There was a delay too with the umpire situation. Yeah, it felt like it's forever. And when you walk ten guys, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a long game, and it seemed like I mean them too. It seems like there was base runners on for both teams every inning, and then with the umpire delay, yeah, it was definitely the longest. It felt long for sure. Yeah, I think B. I think BYU had a base runner, at least one base runner in every inning. Uh, and and you and defensively you had just the uh, two one two three innings, so there were, there were base runners almost all night for Utah as well as one of those nights. Yeah, just yeah, it was a crazy game and. Hopefully we got that out of our system that when we come back Thursday that, man, this is out of our system and we can play a little cleaner. All right, Trent, thank you for coming up, and we will uh, see you back uh, at Miller Park. Thanks, Greg. All right, that is to interim head coach Trent Pratt. That's going to do it for a BYU baseball broadcast tonight. Thanks for sticking around with us on a long night. We took the hour, we took the air uh, a little more than four hours ago. Uh, Utah wins it with a walk-off by a score of 8-7. to seven. Kai Roberts single to left and uh, beat the throw to the plate. Utah wins it by a score of 8-7. to seven. Our thanks to the crew back at BYU Radio. Our control board operator, Tanner Graff. Our broadcast intern for a final time this year, Alex Dodson. Our coordinating producer, Terry South. Our broadcast engineers, Barry Squires and Sean Faith. And our BYU Radio assistant station manager, Sean O'Neill. Let's also applaud our operations director, uh, Clark Jackman. So for all those folks back at BYU Radio, and with thanks to my color commentary colleague tonight, Duff Tittle, and with thanks to Trent Pratt for joining us postgame, my name is Greg Grubel, saying once again our final score is Utah 8 and BYU 7 here at Smith's Ballpark in downtown Salt Lake City. So in the meantime, and in between time, this has been BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Good night and so long from Salt Lake City. You have been listening to live coverage of BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Baseball is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Kevin Worthen, Vice President Keith Vorkink, Athletic Director Tom Homo, and Associate Athletic Director for Corporate Sponsorships, Casey Stoffer. BYU Baseball is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU Sports Network.